What's my next concept? Uh, uh indulgence? I don't know. I don't know what it was. Uh, let's see. Uh, unity! My next concept is unity! <laughs> Everybody, I just want to let you know that we have uniforms. We have <laughs> uniforms for unity. If anybody wants to indulge in unity, we have <laughs> the official yeah. uniform of this night, not every day, just this night. <laughs> There's no and indulgence in unity, though. <laughs> it's pure. Unity! Beat that fool unity up! Unity and purity! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> All right. So Tell Let him me to go back to his room. You go back to your room, room asshole. <laughs> All right, everybody needs to know how unity, unity is involved in my concepts. If you do not, if if the society is not involved in Unless unity, you upstairs, we're gonna be so pissed. No, this, no, this guy doing it. Oh, okay, perfect. If, if everybody, right, I'm rich as fuck. <laughs> yeah, sorry. If everybody is not involved in unity, then this society will not work. You have to be unified as a whole community for the state to be able to control this and make everything better. You guys want the state to make everything work? Do you want it to make everything better? Woo! Woo! Hey, better! Okay. Best Nazi dad ever! <laughs> this is way more exciting than mine. Oh, okay, everybody! Shut the fuck up and be unified. Stop being so individualistic. All you assholes in your cute little outfits, stop being individualistic. Kyle McGee is about to play. Kyle McGee! Kyle McGee! Kyle McGee, everybody. A uh, couple things. Somebody can open the door if they want to let some fresh air in here. This isn't going to be real loud. And if you want to come up a little closer, it might be easier for you to hear because this is going to be unamplified. So, uh, just come on up and back. I'm glad we have the I'm glad we had a lot for this acoustic set. <laughs> DJ, whatever you want, DJ. man. DJ, obedient. Okay. We're currently in bags. To difficult to hear audio, the brain will eventually impose an order to the frequencies and rhythm patterns and may decide that something specific was said or may assign a particular subjective interpretation. Take another blank tape and pull the tape out of the cassette case, leaving about two inches of tape on the left side. Voices or sounds can be thought to originate from anywhere. The walls, the ground, trees, a shoe are all possible origins of hallucinatory sounds.
Interpretive conclusions from listening to difficult to hear audio, especially those with low amplitude sonic events, may be false and be nothing more than auditory illusions. All playback devices introduce extraneous noise into the sound produced during playback. This noise is in the form of electronic system noise and mechanical noise and is in addition to the system noise introduced into the audio during recording. Every electronic device has system noise, whether it is a million dollar device or a ten dollar device. All recording devices introduce system noise into the audio being recorded. Recording environments are never silent, even when no one is present. There is always some sort of environmental sound, whether a refrigerator, wind, wall creaks, air conditioner, or heating unit. As with the Mirage, which is an optical distortion created by combining alternating layers of hot and cool air, and is an op optical system misinterpretation of data, auditory illusions are auditory system misinterpretations of data. Psychoacoustic research has told us that our auditory perceptual coding is very good at extrapolating, filling in what isn't there, and hearing what it wants or expects to hear, as the brain imposes an order on the sonic events. Auditory hallucinations can range from primitive noises such as bangs, whistles, claps, screams, ticks, and others to speech and music.
It is, of course, possible to misinterpret auditory stimuli in ways unrelated to speech. There's a hot and cool bear. And there's an off optical system missing auditory Temporal masking by environmental sounds may also cause auditory illusions. Temporal masking occurs when one sound comes so close to another that the two seem as one. Continue on I-85 North, entering Virginia, 116 miles, 1 hour, 48 minutes. False interpretations often result from listening to a recording with a poor quality playback device, such as this sonically challenged cassette recorder. Auditory hallucination occurs when people hear voices or other noises, although nothing is there. A recording with a very low amplitude of the desired signal, such as speech, is particularly susceptible to auditory misinterpretation because such a low amplitude signal may easily combine with other sonic elements and the brain may extrapolate and create, create false interpretations. As with the Mirage, which is an optical distortion created by combining alternating layers of hot and cool air, Mono recordings create a small focal point, which is contrary to our normal manner of hearing. Human speech is a combination of frequencies and rhythms. 
A speaker's attempt at verbal communication occurs when these elements are controlled by articulation cues, such as the vocal production of the sounds represented by the letters T, K, F, S, H, P, and S, which are actually clicks, pops, starts, stops, swishes, and swooshes, hisses, squeaks, and whistles. Capture errors. Anomalies created by the method used to capture audio signals, such as noise generated through the over amplification of a signal at the point of recording. Virginia, 116 miles, one hour, 48 minutes. Rorschach audio, a condition created when the brain incorrectly interprets random patterns as being familiar patterns. What can auditory illusions suggest to the overactive and creative mind? One hour, 48 to to capture audio signals, such as noise. And cool air, and is an op optical system Such illusions are triggered by certain combinations of the auditory stimuli of frequencies and rhythmic patterns. This may easily combine with other sonic elements to interpret random patterns as being familiar. North, entering Virginia, 160. What can audio anomalies suggest to the restless and creative mind? That's it, thank you.